Cycle sinking protein. I'm gonna be honest, when I first heard about this, I assumed it was just another way to market supplements to women and make them feel like they need something special when they don't. Because the truth is most women would be totally fine on regular protein. And I'm extremely skeptical of anything labeled women. The industry just has a long history of pink labels, inflated prices, and zero real changes. But then I actually dug into the formulation and science behind it and realized that this is different. So let's talk about the details. This protein isn't just one formula pretending to be cycle-based. It's actually two different products for two different phases. Phase one is follicular. That one has 180 calories, 15 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, and six grams of fiber. Lower protein, more carbs, iron, and micronutrients, because in this cycle, women are often more carb tolerant and iron deficient. Phase two is the lovely luteal. That one also has 180 calories, but 22 grams of protein, 18 grams of carbs, and five grams of fiber. Higher protein, different mineral profile, with higher phosphorus plus magnesium and zinc, because recovery is slower, the metabolism shifts, and protein needs go up. And that's not marketing, that's actual physiology. They also included a farra, which is a human identical lactoferrin made through precision fermentation. Lactoferrin is important because it plays a role in iron regulation, immune health, and gut support, which is exactly what all women need when your hormones are bouncing around. And the rest of the ingredients in here are also very solid. This is a plant-based protein, but it is a pea protein and pumpkin seed protein blend, so you can make sure you're getting that complete protein. It also has a grain seed blend using real food like oat bran, quinoa, buckwheat, millet, chia, flax seeds, cocoa, date powder, and monk fruit to sweeten, and creatine monohydrate. No ingredients that you can't pronounce on this label. Let me be very clear. You do not need something like this to be strong, healthy, and successful. A regular protein works, period. But if a brand is gonna claim that it's built for women's physiology, this is probably the first time I've ever seen the formulation match that claim. I'm here to explain what's real and not, and this, it's not magic, but it's very thoughtfully designed, and that's exactly why it's worth talking about. So if you've ever questioned women's supplements before, tell me what you think of this one down below. I wanna hear your thoughts and discuss.